Hi Pisces, welcome to this Tower Love reading, welcome to this community, my name's Sophia. So Pisces, what I was getting was, so um, if you're new, I don't feel this is for you, but bear with, because of, you know, let's see what the cards say. So what I was getting, if you've been following me, I've been getting for Pisces a lot about not wanting to see things um going deeper you know pisces is the moon the shadow delusions and stuff like that now it doesn't matter if your pisces or your person has got pisces what i'm talking about is connected to you uh, that's the energy i feel but it may be your person right but what they generally do your light worker twin flame star sea palladian humanitarian whatever if you're connected to me you're got some kind of humanitarianism within you right wanting to save planet animals vegetarian that kind of thing right so what i'm feeling is uh there's a delusion element of it's an easier way to do it and i said it, it because if you're new you wouldn't know because i'm always saying with pisces well not always a lot of my pisces reason is go deeper do the shadow work. Book me if you need to, because I can. On my readings, I guarantee them. There's no tower readings that guarantee, and it's not even a tower reading. It's an image reading, right? But what I um, I, I might actually start doing tower readings, actually, yeah. But anyway, my uh, I do them here, but I don't do them if you book me. It's more of an image, but I might do tower readings. But my point is, is that there's something that you're refusing to and. And when I say refuse to see, I actually literally mean that. For example, you might be listening to my readings and, and um, or if you're new, you might have heard this from other tower readers, go deeper or there's shadow work. And I feel you're literally right. Yeah, I get it. Uh, like I might say there's some family belief, traditional religion you're holding on to. And you might go, yeah, I get it. For example, you might be with someone who's different. It could be a different color. And I, I will say to you like, oh, well, you know, uh, go deeper, work on that, work on your shadow work, not your person's. They're reflecting something to you. And you're like, yeah, I get it, but there's got to be an easier way. So you're doing the easier option. That's what the energy I'm feeling here. Knowing, right, but taking the easier option. That's what I'm getting. There's something you know, but you choose it. It's not ignorance is what I'm trying to say in this reading, right? And you might say, I don't know. But if you was talking to me, I'll go, you do know that blah, 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 your situation. And you'll go, yeah, I do. And then, then I will say, well, why aren't you doing it? You can't say you're ignorant. You're using ignorance as if ignorance is if you totally don't know. I feel you do know something you could be doing but you're not doing it there's something like that i keep well i'm picking up now in this reading generally that's with pisces moon is like uh, you know delusions or something so eight of wands which oh, i feel in there's communication let's see pisces oh if you're new pisces hello and please check out my facebook group it's new YouTube's too exposed, it's too out there, anyone can just click on a video, any old body, you know, who's not interested in mission and your person really, right? Just watching tarot is, 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 is how many tarot readers out there, so I've created a Facebook group, it's free, for more people who are serious about moving forward, for people who really want to get their person and get into mission, like that humanitarian thing. So I've created a private group, like it's free to join. You get free extended readings, collective readings, and everyone who's on my subscription list does what I do. So they're in mission. Mission isn't just tower readings. We sell programs to help you, counselling, galactic schools, all this kind of thing. So if you want additional stuff, please join. It's free in the description box, the, the link there. So let's jump in, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. So Eight of Wands, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician. So I'm getting this communication. I don't normally, although Eight of Wands is communication, but generally I don't get 
communication with the eight of wands but somehow i feel there's some kind oh let me see because it might be divine communication i think it is so either you're getting commit or both so you're getting communication from your person or divine communication here with the wheel of fortune but i feel that um whatever your person say your person's communicating with you i feel the divine is saying um mm, interpreting their communication so um say you went to your person and said um did you go to the shops and i'm just making something up here did you go to that shop and ask for a job for me before the deadline right and you'll put you could say you wanted to apply for a job right and he had two days to do it right and it was for you i'm just making something up here your person will communicate to you yeah i did i did go to the shop and apply for the job right the divine is saying but did he do it before the deadline something like that is what i'm trying to say it is you're getting communication or something it's either from the divine is telling you or from your person and the divine is like listen um go a bit deeper i don't know what else to say with this the wheel of uh fortune so um so it, it's not unfortunate you know you can get the facts from knowing and that's generally tapping into your intuition right but i feel it's a wheel of fortune it's like because you're ignoring your intuition so they're like well this won't progress to manifestation if you keep just listening literally to not to your intuition or to someone else this could be listening to other tower readers who are just saying yeah your person's coming they're going to leave the third party and come running towards you just like the hollywood movies you watch who program you that your person comes running towards you right is that true no i i don't think i've ever watched a film the closest romantic films i watch and they always resonate to me as a twin flame connection but never how they make that they get together oh she's the one for me i just left this person and came running towards her no but the connection of the you know really wanting to be with someone and i knew it was love at first sight yes but the actions that's why i think this is the wheel of fortune because the will you push forward you push back or it stays still instead of intuition but the eight of wands is cupid arrows from above so they're shooting cupid arrows about some communication that you're getting like i said the initial energies pisces was of your you, you or your person pisces this is the energy of your choosing to not to i don't know um dismiss it or something like that is what i'm getting from that a uh, magician card next to the wheel of fortune is because like they're saying it's like as above words giving you intuition as above of what you get on planet earth down below if you're choosing to literally hear the words of the 3d when we're giving you guided stuff then you won't manifest this needs to heal why do you keep wanting to hear what you just want to hear instead of this is people pleasing instead of taking action steps on doing something for example this isn't always necessarily bad it could be i'll talk about the good option i might say to you no not me someone might say to you yeah here's a brilliant job as a cleaner right and i love cleaning right a cleaner you get quite good wage above the average of a cleaner right there's progression so you can be a supervisor maybe a manager of cleaner this company is really good you know you get a good uniform you get company cards drive around the cleaning equipment whatever to people's houses whatever right that's quite good right you manifest that but that's words but then there might be someone else who's saying listen you can do better than cleaning you've done cleaning long enough why don't you own your own key cleaning company you're choosing not to hear um the the hard stuff choosing the easier option it's something to do with words so i said it's not always shitty 
not it could be people cussing you out and you're just not telling them a fuck off it could be that example but i'm saying it doesn't have to be there's something about you always choose the easier option and you know different you know you can do and this is this is um, lack of confidence because you know you can do better it's you putting yourself in this situation with the wheel of fortune because it's for you to push it forward and look the wheel of fortune has the uh, masculine at the top and this is Aquarius age meaning rise into your masculinity masculinity meaning be like me doesn't mean you have to cuss out anybody or anything like that it just simply means you stand up for yourself and your wishes and your desires the way the fortune is literally right you in here and the world spins on the outside because this world the planet's in constant motion right so it's you in the middle taking control of the, your world, your fortune, wheel of fortune. Or you're on the outside just floating around with other shit that happens, right? It's about taking control of your fortune. And like I said, this is to do with how you manifest. So you, the wheel of fortune, these are, these are the, um, of what they're called? Angels of the seasons, Right. The four seasons, even though our season's getting a bit messed up at the moment, I'll put a post in that, about that at the, in the Facebook group, group. When you join, you'll see it in there. But anyway, these are the like the seasons, the weather and stuff like that, the four seasons. So my point is, this keeps going round and round and round, then this could be always happening. You're always getting a job and you don't like the job and you can't speak up for yourself. Your mum, you can't tell them to go away. And if you do tell your mum, then a friend, you can't get... It's like you have to learn to keep standing up for yourself. It's a constant thing because this world is in, uh, always in motion. Then you get to a point where you're like me and you just start coming away from people when you get used to this. You're not learning life lessons. You're not learning to stand up for yourself. You need more confidence. I think I've got to go over the confidence and anxiety or buy that. It's on my website. Everything I sell is money back guarantee. You can buy it for someone who's in on the subscription list. Right? So this is uh, underneath the Eight of Wands is the Knight of Cups. This is something to do with moving in because this is my moving in card. Right? With your person moving in. So it's like as if you're not hearing him. I'll tell you what this is. And he's promising to move in, and he, but he's not, because he's going in another direction, right? That could be his words. We're going to move in, but he's not. Or you're literally, that's what it is. I don't know. There's something like that. I, I They stopped me when I was going to give the other option. Is there something about emotionally investing, because he's holding the cup and moving in, it's like as if he's being a knight in shining armor, but he still needs he's he's in he's in the thick of something here with the woods. It's I, I keep I keep going back to it. I know I'm repeating myself. You're literally just listening to his words. I'll give you an, another example. It's like you're in a job, and the boss is like, "Can you do overtime as a cleaner? Right? Can you do overtime?" I don't really want to do overtime. But listen, Sophia, there's an opportunity for you to be the manager. All right. And then two months later, can you do overtime? But I ain't the manager yet. There's an opportunity. I told you, you're the best bet, Sophia, to be the manager. That's what's going on here. There's someone who's telling you stuff, right? And this could be your person about moving in because it's my moving in. And you're just listening to the words. Right, because they're loving words. That's why I say moving in. Plus, this is my moving in card, right? And it's like about you following your passion and taking the world in your hand. I, I already told you that. You direct this world. You move into the direction where you want to go, right? And this is your path. Two of Wands is path. Um, do dominion is about being a supreme ruler not letting other people rule you right that's what this is about because two of wands is d dominion do you see but being wise following your passion and taking the world into your hands not waiting for others to tell you what to do four of wands uh four swords 
underneath the magician is connected to um it's like heartbreak right but my four well all four of ones is like the death card i call it and because you can see it's like you're following a belief system that is dead and buried of maybe parents that just like said you know my, my my husband just moved in and then we just carried on in life for example with his moving car so you're just thinking well that's just going to happen to me that could be the four swords here so you're thinking you're just going to manifest someone who's going to just live with you but maybe your parents weren't in love i'm just being honest or weren't this twin flame connection of love or weren't this person you're with that's a different experience you see that's what this is teaching you, four swords. The way how you think it's got to be is from a religion or tradition, like I said, with a television, right? Because he's praying and hoping here, right, from a religion or tradition. The swords are down. Can you see? Throw your swords up there. They're down because it's like it's not your truth. It keeps creating heartbreak and you're not manifesting. Magician card here. Stuff. All you keep manifesting is heartbreak, then you rest, Right? Then you rest and then someone comes in with these, What, like I said with my job example. Can you do it? Can you do this overtime? All right, I do it. Heartbreak. Don't want to do it. Don't want to bloody do it. So I do it. Then I rest. Four swords, right? Rest after the heartbreak. Then the cycle happens again. Person come, boss comes back to me two months later. Can you do another spout of overtime, right? Because you're going to be the manager of this organization and all these loving words, right? And so I fall for it. There's a pattern here you need to break. This needs to be counselling. You need to book an image reading, an update image reading if you keep doing this. Because this cycle's not ending. And this is your path. This is something you need to learn. There's something to do with family, that you're following a belief. Or something with delusions of telling two, 3D. Oh, my person loves me. I love him. He'll just turn up and show up. Right? And I feel your person, uh, I always say your person is amazing. If they are saying words to you about, you know, Mr. Knight in shining armor, right? Knight of Cups, Mr. Knight in shining armor. But this is my moving in card. If they are saying words like they're moving in or something like that, right? They are teaching you why do you think it's so easy or what these words, right? Whatever. Why do you think that you're just like, um, that people just say things? Uh, it should be that. I'm not saying it shouldn't be. People should be saying things, but they don't, do they? A lot of people lie. They don't even know they're lying. They give half-truths. Masculines particularly give half-truths, you know? they Your person, I don't think he's saying it, but he could say he loves you, right? But living with someone else. This is living, right? Living with someone else. Does that mean, so you're just like, well, he said he loved me, but you're not going deeper, that's what this is about. So if this is you, uh, book me for reading, update reading, or and don't forget, um, go and uh, well check out the Facebook group if you like. Like I said, loads of free stuff in there. And hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Speak to you later.